This is our Category 6A unshielded field termination plug. It's very easy to wire. It provides excellent performance. You can actually put one of these at both ends of your cable so that you have a direct attach cable, which is really useful for critical high-speed runs. If you need to terminate RJ45s and make, a, and make a patch cord, it's ideal to use these if you can. So this is a very useful termination. We do recommend it. It comes with a zip tie so that you can tie the cable up at an angle if you need to. And I've tested that. If you bend the cable up at a pretty good angle with the zip tie applied, it does not severely affect crosstalk inside of the cable. So I've tested that for anybody that's got that question. We're going to use our all-in-one crimp and termination tool for just the stripper portion. We're going to use our flush cutter, which is critical for prepping up cabling. And then we're going to make use of our true close tool, which is essentially parallel closure pliers. And the idea behind these is that they evenly close the mechanism of the field term plug or keystone. Outside jaws are used for keystones. Inside jaw is used for field term plugs. You can also use channel locks in a pinch, but this is more precise. All right, so let's get to it. First thing is we're going to take off about an inch and a half of cable jacket using the strip cavity on our tool here. Got a nice score. Pop once. Pop on the other side. Keep this little piece here because it's going to be helpful with untwisting any wires you need to untwist. Remove all dielectric wraps. Remove the spline. Twist to remove. Spline's removed. Right, so one thing you're going to notice is that inside of the wiring cap of our field termination plug, there is a color code pattern. So the B sequence is going to be orange on the rear here. You're going to have blue on the rear on the right side. And then you're going to have green at the front on the left side and brown on the front at the right side. So one of the important things is to make sure that when you get the rear pairs wired in, and that's what you should do first, is that you get the cable jacket all the way to a certain point in this wiring cap. And that is this ledge right here. You want the, the cable jacket to butt right against that. And we're going to show you how that works. So we know that for B, we need orange and we need blue. All right, so these are the pairs we're working with right now. And then these two pairs right here are the ones we're working with up front. And I'm just going to turn the cable over to make it easy to get it all lined up. And so that'll make it easy on us for terminating. All right, the two rear, the ones that are going into the rear slots, you can go ahead and untwist all the way. And then you'll use it to tack in the cable, and then you'll use the two front pairs to finish. All right, so the conductor cap says that I have to go with solid orange and then stripe orange. So solid orange is at the very rear. Solid orange there, and stripe orange there. And as you can see, the cable jacket is all the way against that ledge. And in the case of the blue, looking at the color pattern down there, it's going to be solid blue in the rear slot and then striped at the slot ahead of it. And then the next set is the green. And it's going to be solid green on this side and striped green on the outside. So we'll just untwist down to that point. And it lined up very nicely for me. Now, normally you would like to see it untwist right down and fit perfectly just like that. However, sometimes you have to go one more twist past the slots, and that's okay to do. In fact, on one end of your cable where you're terminating one of these, you probably will have to do that. The other end will probably line up like that just fine. Okay, in this case, we got brown on the outside, and we've got white on the inside. Now, as you can see, it's not going to lay perfectly into those slots without me knuckling a conductor. So I am going to have to go one more untwist past. So there we go. We've got them all wired in. You want to make sure your sequence is correct before you go and start flush cutting stuff off, and it is correct.
And the way you flush cut this guy from the front ones, you're going to do it from this direction. And make sure they're good and flush cut off. And then with the two rear, you're going to come up from the bottom side. Like so. Once you get all of them flush cut, it's ready to insert into the plug housing. So there is a post that is in there that fits into this slot here. And there is also this tab in the way. So you're going to be inserting it at an angle until the post goes into the slot. Pre-seat as best as you can. Now, more than likely, you're not going to actually be able to get this guy shut with just finger pressure. So that's where your true close comes in. We're going to use the inside jaws. And you want to place the tool directly in the center of the field termination plug as so until it snaps closed. And there we go. So you want to make sure that the two lock tabs are engaged on that side. And you also want to be sure the two lock tabs are engaged on this side. And they are. So there you go. We have a fully terminated field termination plug onto CAT 6A unshielded direct burial cable. And so please leave a thumbs up subscribe to our channel, leave a comment below, let us know what you thought about it. And with that, I'm going to say happy networking.